Hey everyone, it's Miss Brit 1986, and this is going to be a, um, a favorites video, uh, February favorites, as well as a relaxer update. I had to combine them because I haven't had a lot of time to do videos lately. I apologize, and I do want to make sure um, that everybody is getting kind of what they want out of me, and I have not done a favorites video in forever. Um, they're, I know they're not probably as popular as my hair updates on my channel, but I know that there are some of the ladies out there who are interested in seeing what other people are buying. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the favorites, and then I'm going to talk about my hair. Um, I've got to go somewhere soon, so um, this might seem a little rushed, but um, I'm going to go ahead and start with um, favorite number one for February, and that is... Um, the Mac wipes and um, ooh, oh, I hate wearing my hair down lipstick gloss whatever it gets everywhere um, these are fantastic I never I know if you have ever been into Mac they will use these to take off your previous makeup and make um, and clean up and all that um, these are fantastic they are worth every penny I never really wanted to buy them because they are quite expensive. I believe this is the hundred sheets. I think this is the biggest one, and I believe it's like twenty six dollars or twenty eight dollars. So it's almost thirty bucks. Um, I was using baby wipes. I was getting tired of wiping. Baby wipes will wipe off my face makeup, but baby wipes will not get off um, the eye makeup. So I was having to go back with another eye makeup remover to remove that, and um, I didn't like it. These will take your makeup off in one swipe one not one swipe but you know you'll take every i use these on my lips i use them on my face i use them on i i use these on waterproof mascara and it removed my waterproof mascara so that is how fantastic these are you do not have to scrub a lot i just kind of press it and just leave it and let it go you only need one wipe so um I would really 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 recommend these these have been a lifesaver for me these they also say that these have a built-in toner um, I have used these to wipe off my makeup and went straight to bed and passed out and not wash my face and I did not experience any adverse effects like my face breaking out or anything like that so just so you know if you never wash your face at night if you never wash off your makeup this would probably be fantastic for you um, next thing i guess i want to talk about i guess we'll stick with makeup this is um clinique perfectly real makeup in shade 34n and it looks extremely light in the package um but when you i don't know if you'll be able to see that but um that's it let's see that's it when i you know kind of rub it so um I had the box for this and I don't even know where it went. It's somewhere here. Um, but it's supposed to like use micro reflecting, micro reflective technology and pigments to give you a, um, a makeup look that looks perfectly real. Um, this is probably one of the best foundations I have tried in my life. Um, I will probably never go back to MAC foundation as long as they keep making this. Now, the only thing about this is that I wonder if this is just a winter color for me. Um, because I noticed that my, my MAC foundation started getting really like, my face would be super tan and my neck was not. And um, I don't know if it's just a, I've never really had a winter um, summer foundation. So maybe this will be my winter um, and I'll try the MAC. I've still got the MAC somewhere. So I'll, I'll try it again in the summer and see how I feel. I usually don't get too tan because I, I stay out of the sun because of sun damage because I don't want to get old. <laughs> um, but this stuff, I mean, it is flawless. I've got it on today, and it's it's a look where I didn't wipe off my nose ring when I did my foundation. It's um, it's got a look where you can still see like a few imperfections, like my birthmark is here. You can still kind of see it, but it, I mean, it really, really just looks really seamless. Like if I smile, you know, how sometimes you'll get foundation like in here, or you'll get foundation like creased in here or something like that. This foundation does not do that. It just, it doesn't crease in my dimples either. It just stays flawless and it just gives me like, my coworker was like, you don't even look like you're wearing makeup. It gives you like a medium coverage 
but you still it's, it's kind of like you have to say is she wearing makeup or is that just her you know natural skin so this stuff is really good it's cheaper than mac i think it's about 22 bucks i want to say and it's um, one fluid ounce i love the fact that it isn't like a squeezy tube so i mean this you just can't get any better than this the only thing is is you have to try to find your shade it took me several years to Clinique has matched me incorrectly so many times that is that the sunlight I'm sorry if the sunlight is like flashing Clinique has matched me incorrectly so many times that I gave up on them but um, luckily I was you know brought back to the brand okay staying with the makeup and I've got well not makeup but um, this is the Maybelline dream fresh um bb cream eight in one beauty balm skin protector with um titanium dioxide sunscreen spf 30 medium to deep sheer tint okay um and this is what it looks like in the package it's pretty small i think it's about one fluid ounce so about the size of like a foundation bottle and i'm just gonna put a little here so you can see um usually i do not do this type of um ignore the scratch on my hand i do not do this type of um product but this product um it does seem to see the more i rub it in it kind of just it started off a little dark a little dark for me and then it just kind of um melts into your skin i rub it in really well so um kind of melts into your skin it gives you this stuff what I really like about this stuff is that it gives you like my skin glows and I think this stuff promises what does it promise to do um I think it promises to um perfect and like brighten and it promises a whole bunch of crap but um it doesn't have like a weird sometimes um products with a lot of sunscreen have like a weird kind of cast to, to it it doesn't have that it's this is very light this is extremely light it I was afraid it was gonna break me out but it didn't um, I just I love it oh what does it say blurs imperfections enhances brightens adjusts to skin tone smooths hydrates SPF 30 protects zero percent oils and other heavy ingredients that is exactly right this this stuff is pretty awesome I told my sister about it. I was like you need to pick this up if they have it in her color um, it's fantastic I really like it it's a good op it's a good um, alternative to a tinted moisturizer a lot of tinted moisturizers that I tend to try are really oily and they kind of slide around my face but not that one I really just the finish is just it's got like a matte finish so there's really no sheen at all I, I really really like it and that is I think about I bought it at the drugstore which I never do but it's, it was like eight bucks or something but highly recommend that um I have been lately all about my MAC lipsticks. Okay, these are three new ones. Um, today I have on um, Candy Yum Yum, which um, I heard about all the hype. And um, I didn't really, I never really cared until I saw it in, and this is like not doing it justice. The sunlight is just, this is like a fluorescent pink. This is a major, major pink this lipstick is yeah like that it's like fluorescent that's what it looks like i have a little gloss over it because this formula is probably the most drying formula that i have ever um used from mac and that's the only thing that's just a little bit disappointing it's kind of cool because i like the fact that it's matte because it um uh, it stays forever um but this one even for it being like a matte shade it just is really really drying so you have to make sure you put some um moisturizer on your lips or you're going to be looking like I mean it, it'll start like looking really crazy so love 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 that this looks fantastic on all skin tones especially darker skin because I that's actually where I saw it I saw like on YouTube I would see videos of like girls with more of a deeper skin tone wearing it and I was just like oh wow but I never really thought to um, try it but I I'm obsessed with this this is like my new going out lipstick um, this is um, Up the Amp, which is showing up pretty true to color. This is a, like a purple. And um, I'm not really a big fan of purples and all that. Um, they kind of scare me. 
but this is really really wearable see that and I put like you know that new Nicki Minaj lip gloss if you've seen it it's like a super it's like a lavender I have a Revlon one that is similar that I will put over the top of this that looks really 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 good um, this is a creamy formula um, it's, it's just wonderful I love Mac because they come out with just different colors every time I put these lipsticks on and go somewhere like I'm going somewhere today somebody will say excuse me what is that lipstick that you're wearing I really like that and that's what I love about Mac like I love to wear wearable natural shades but sometimes I just need a pop of color that's not too like crazy um, this is snob I was actually wearing snob in my um, that snob right there next to the pink so snob is kind of like a movie like um, is it mauve 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 whatever it's like that it's like a nude kind of like I don't know how to explain snob go back and watch my um, you've probably already seen it if you're watching this but my New Year's hair update video and this is what I was wearing my sister does not like this shade I freaking love it and I put um, this over it which is fantastic I need to get some more of these in different colors this is Mac pro Longwear lip glass in um, infinitely likable and I like this applicator because it's a doe foot but it's extremely like I don't know it's flat and it's just different and let me put the lip gloss that's the lip gloss there so it's a really pretty pink shade it's just like the perfect little pretty pink and it lasts a long time I like lip glosses that tend to be like a little thick and that will kind of have some staying power because that's really big for me because I where I work I'm, I'm constantly on the phone and, and eating and snacking and all that so I really want a lip product that's gonna last throughout the day maybe have to touch up once and um, this stuff is pretty fantastic it looks awesome layered over snob I love it um, I got a lot of Mac stuff I've been I don't know I bought this over the summer this is a Mac mineralized skin finish this is actually in redhead this was limited edition but um, the first time I tried it I loved it if you can see that it's just got like can you see that I don't know if you can see that it's meant to be a highlight so I mean you may not be able to see it but I've got it on today um, I highlight like this and right here and under my nose and my cupid's bow this is just a fantastic highlight it's kind of rosy it doubles as a blush it's a very very tame light blush and it's got a lot of these mineralizers have a lot of sparkle to it but I have been using this to highlight lately instead of my um, I think it's called gold rush by Mac because it's just got that pink when I wear pink blushes and stuff I just feel like it just looks really nice and it just kind of wakes my skin up a little bit so that's yeah that's better you can see that that's redhead I wish I could get it to pick up on camera like the highlight but I can't um this is a sample this came in like a um a Clinique gift but this is the Clinique chubby sticks this is in whopping watermelon and um that's it right there that shiny product right there it's just a really natural kind of it's it's got a slight purple tint to it like a pink and um, I love it I I have you guys know I had the worst luck like remember when I was telling you I got over the sinus thing I ended up getting the flu okay I had the flu like three weeks ago and when I got back to work my lips were so freaking chapped like I was so dehydrated my lips were so chapped this I loved because like the flu made me really nauseous after I had the while and after I had the flu there was a lot of things that I wouldn't eat a lot of things that I used to like the smell of that I didn't like anymore um, it was weird 
but this has no scent and it's just so light and creamy i mean you saw the way it just came on and it's just so pretty and they have it in different colors i probably will end up repurchasing this if you don't want to do clinique um i just saw a drugstore favorites video where somebody had a, a neutrogena one so i think neutrogena has come off with a knockoff of these and i've used neutrogena in the past and i, I liked it back in the day so um but i would really recommend these if you like like a lip balm like just a really moisturizing um, lip product with um, a good color payoff really really like that and I think last for makeup is gonna be my um, Rimmel super extra super lash mascara I have I have strayed away from this and like tried other mascaras I always come back to this I have been using this mascara for several years i do like to switch it up and change it up the only other one that probably this and the um, l'oreal voluminous are probably my two number one mascaras i am a big fan of drugstore mascaras the only um non-drugstore mascara that i can really vouch for is um Lancome defensils is that how you pronounce it defensils or whatever that one is fantastic but um this one i mean i don't know if you can see probably i don't know you probably can't i'd probably have to get really close and i just don't feel like it but um this just with an eyelash curler my eyelashes just pop and just look like you can see my eyelashes just kind of pop and just look really good and this is just a perfect combination of um length and volume and it's it's it doesn't clump up too much i love it love 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 it love it this is really cheap at walmart this is like i think you can get two of these for like five bucks so i would really really recommend i've got it upside down but i would really recommend this product i mean i'll show you the um that's the wand if you want to i mean this everything about this freaking thing is perfect like the wand and just the amount of product that comes out on it and just, i just love it okay on to um i have not been able to i would not have been able to survive the winter without this i've been washing my hands a lot um although i continue to get sick this winter i have the worst luck but i wash my hands a lot and i'm all about my mary Kay satin hands this is the fragrance free hand cream i'm all about this stuff you've probably smelled this in the past like back in the day when your mom used it and it used to smell really bad but now they have it in unscented and they have it in peach which I mean the peach smells all right i'm not a big fan of peach so i don't really but this is fantastic this stuff is 10 bucks um i've got a friend who kind of gives me the hookup on this stuff and you only need like a little tiny like you only need a little tiny bit like a tiny bit of this and you it lasts through a hand washing I, the reason why I really love this stuff is because it's not oily it's it moisturizes so well like you will feel you will have no you know how you get like cracks in here and just like dry ashiness you don't have to worry about that I can still um because I type a lot at work and I've got a pen in my hand and like I don't have to worry about like stuff sliding out of my hand and just my and putting oil everywhere this this is I love this stuff I love it. I will always this is this is my favorite hand cream <laughs> I love it I I can't stray I just I really love it it's proved itself to me um I'm gonna keep on with the body body stuff I guess the Dev deep moisture um, nourishing body wash with nu nutrient moisture it says new I don't know if they redid the formula I don't think they did but I keep seeing the commercial saying this is new I've, I've had this before but now they put this big new sticker on it but let me tell you I did notice and I don't know if it was just this bottle or what but it lathers a little bit better it lathers better and it just smooths over my body a lot more nicely than the other one like the other one it used to just kind of be thick and it would kind of sit and I would have to struggle to get it to lather but this one lathers well and it just it, it moisturizes all throughout my body like like I don't know how to I don't know how to explain it like it's just like I use a washcloth so it just I don't know all I, I I always judge a body wash by if I put like if I put in my washcloth put the water on it lather it up will I have to put some more body wash on my washcloth before I go head to toe and no I don't have to so um I really like this stuff 
I went on this huge kick. Um, I don't know if I was on YouTube at the time, but I was using um, a lot of um, organic, non-sulfate um, products, things like that. Um, but I keep coming back to this. It has just a nice smell and it, it leaves my skin feeling wonderful. If I don't use lotion, um, my skin won't kill me. My skin won't dry up like a bone or anything like that. Like it's just some really good stuff and um, I really like it. I don't want to like it because I feel like, I don't know, sometimes I feel like these are these big, big brands like they trick you into thinking that they work really well and so I, I like to do cheaper stuff when I can but um, this actually, I mean Dove is pretty fantastic. I, I have to give them that. Um, Oh, I forgot a makeup, so I have to show you guys. This is a prestige eyeliner. This is a white eyeliner. Um, I have been wearing white eyeliner. This is like, needs to be sharpened. But I've been wearing white eyeliner um, forever, it seems like, probably for the past like four months, and I've been addicted to it. Um, that's the white eyeliner. I will put it under my, um, in my waterline. And if you are, if you've been crying, if you had a really bad night, um, you've been drinking, um, I don't know. <laughs> if you just wake up and you just look like crap, allergies, whatever, if you just look like crap and your eyes are bloodshot and you use a white eyeliner, it will really, really open up your eyes. I don't put white eyeliner right here. That is like on the top of my eyelid. I think that's really trashy. Um, in my opinion, no offense to anybody who does that. I think it looks really sixth grade or whatever. I don't like it, but I put it in here. I do put it in here and it really, really widens up my eye and makes me look awake. Like even when, like days where I just, I might do something like this. I might just put on a lip, uh, like a lip, you know, balm and like a little tiny bit of blush and this and I just walk out of the house looking fresh faced and natural so I really like that stuff and this is at Walgreens I think it's like really cheap I think it's like it's no more than five bucks the only thing about this one is it doesn't have the best staying power um so I've been I would be willing to pay more for um a more ex I would be willing to pay more for a white eyeliner if I could find one that stayed because this one tends to kind of go away after about three hours um body sprays these are from um, victoria's secret i had not been to victoria's secret in a really long time except to get a couple bras um, when i was losing weight because i lost my boobs <laughs> um i usually don't even wear their bras but they had like a sale or something like that so anyway um, these are their sprays and hello darling and secret craving um, I had not been there for 50 years so I didn't really know about these new smells and um, the secret craving is black currant and vanilla absolute this is wonderful if you like a like a sweet smell that is still like um, grown up you will really like this it smells fantastic and this is secret craving this is white nectarine and peony I'm not a big fan of peony but this smells like just a fruity this just smells like a grown-up fruity smell um, that's not annoying so um, I've been wearing I've still got some of my old Bath and Body Works formulas because I don't like Bath and Body Works new formula it actually reminds me of these formulas that don't last that long which is so frustrating so um, so I have to layer these Victoria's Secrets I have the shower gel the lotion and the spray and you will have to put this in your purse to refresh because they do not last all day um, but I've just been liking a lighter scent um, like I said when I got over the flu a lot of my perfumes that I had loved I was just like oh I didn't know about them so um, these have just been really nice I'm actually wearing a body spray today I'm wearing freshwater cucumber by Bath and Body Works and I just I just love it just a nice fresh nice you know I sent um, and those I bought during the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale so I think they had them three for three for three for 20 or five for 20 something like that you know you guys everybody knows the sale um this freaking brush I love this was actually a gift this is from Sally's this is um, hot and silky 
This is a 100% um, boar bristle brush. That's what the tag said. And um, I already have a really small, I have a boar bristle brush that's like half the size and it's just really small, it's really soft, really, really soft. This one is a little bit more, I'd say this is probably medium. There's something about this brush, something about a boar bristle brush that just rocks my world, okay? I've heard different things. Oprah says she only uses a boar bristle brush. Her stylist swears by it, says that that's how she grew her hair out and it just, it distributes the oils throughout the hair. Some people say because the bristles are uneven, it, it, it wreaks havoc on your hair. Um, I'm not one to brush my hair all the way through, um, as you can see, because I pin curled my hair and I just kind of like, I finger combed it. I'm just not one of those people. Um, but um, this is really, really good when I'm bunning. This, this brush changed my life. Um, and I think, Kira bought it and said it was because she doesn't use this type of paddle brush she's got real fine hair um I think she said it was like it was free but I don't think this probably this probably was like at Sally's probably less than ten dollars probably six bucks seven bucks but let me tell you something this brush slicks my hair this slicks my eight week seven and eight week post hair back into the like the most sleekest bun that I have ever seen that in a combination um with my um that edge product from African Pride that I am always talking about just did wonders on my hair. So this is the hot and silky, um, you know, I'm gonna give you a good look at it so you can pick it up at Sally's. I really, and it's, you know, it's not too hard. It's not too hard at all, but it is, you know, um, it's a lot harder than the brush that I had been using. I haven't even picked up my other brush. I haven't noticed any this taking my hair out or anything like that or my hair breaking. I do notice that because it is more, um, what's the word I'm looking for, stiff, um, it will take some shed hairs out. Like, it, it will get your shed hair out. So when I'm putting my hair in a bun and I, you know, go like this and I, I can pull out really long shed hairs that it will kind of take out, which I, I guess is a good thing. Um, so I really, really, really like this brush. Really, really like it. And I just, I just, I want to hug it because I really love it. <laughs> um, last but not least, I've been doing a lot of nail art on my hands. And this is like, like a turquoise color with like some gold that I just, um, I don't even know if you can even see this, like some gold that I just kind of dotted on there um but i've just been doing different things and if you want to see more nail art then follow me on instagram um california unicorn and you will see like a ton of pictures of me painting my nails because i'm obsessed with nail polish but this is from sally beauty this is nina ultra pro salon formula um it's it's a quick dry top coat i believe um yeah super dry top coat this is not something that you would even pay attention to, um, but this in all actuality has been the best. I think I got this free. I think I had like a coupon and I got a free Nina nail polish. I picked up two or, or one, I can't remember, but um, this is fantastic. It leaves, I painted my nails. Gosh, what day did I paint my nails? I think I painted my nails over the week, last weekend, and they're still, or the beginning of this week, and they haven't even really chipped. I mean, they still look pretty good. I have noticed that my nail polish lasts a lot longer with this top coat on, longer than any other top coat that I have used, and I've used the, um, the Orly, I think, and the OPI, and the, the Sally Hansen, and this is just a really good top coat. Nina Ultra Pro Super Dry Top Coat. And I think this had to have been less than five bucks. And another thing that I really like about this that I'm going to show you is the brush, okay? It's got like two nail polish brushes built into one, so it's really thick. And it just, I, I love it. It just rocks my socks. Um, that's all I have to show you guys for favorites. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get into my hair. This is going to be a really long video, but uh, I hope it's worth it. I hope somebody cares. Um, I got my relaxer eight weeks post. Um, the girl who normally relaxes my hair, who I rave about, I, I had made an appointment. I had made an appointment. I had to cancel my appointment um, because I was sick. So, or in my nine weeks post. 
I'm either eight or nine weeks post. So I made an appointment, got sick. I had to cancel it. Wasn't feeling well. Um, overslept, you know, just needed rest. And the other appointment that I had, um, I tried, no, I tried to make another appointment and she gave it a, I couldn't get in, I couldn't get in with her basically. Like I can't talk today. I couldn't get in with her. So rather than wait, I went ahead and said, well, let me go somewhere around here. So I went to Fantastic Sam's um, in my town. There's a lady who I had walked in there before and kind of, you know, scoped it out. And there's a lady in there who I, I kind of watched her do hair or whatever. And, you know, she did a reasonable job. So um, I went ahead and decided to go there. I knew they weren't going to have the relaxer that I typically use, the Mazzani um, Sensitive Scalp. Um, they did have Design Essentials, no lie, which I have um, used before in the past. Um, everything went well. Um, only thing I noticed was that, um, well, usually I do start tingling a little bit. Once I start smoothing the relaxer, my scalp will start tingling a little with the no lie, but that's nothing compared to like the fire that I used to fill on my scalp with the other relaxers, but I didn't have any burns or anything like that. I don't, I don't do that. I don't, that's one of the reasons why I switched to no lie. I don't do burns in my scalp. Um, but as you can see, it turned out pretty good. I know they say you're not supposed to switch relaxers around. Um, I, I used to be a serial relaxer switcher and I never really noticed any adverse effects. I think that you should definitely, definitely think um, before switching chemical, like before switching over from, you know, lie to no lie or from a, a texturizer to a relaxer. I don't even think, you know, I don't even know about texturizer to relaxer or, or vice versa. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but um, just really, really evaluate your hair and um, the strength of your hair and just kind of know before you make that type of decision. So um, I'm not one of those women who is going to freak out if, I, you know, they don't have my relaxer there. It's, it wasn't a big deal to me. Um, it, it still is a professional, Design Essentials is a professional relaxer, so... Um, I didn't have a big deal with it. Um, I did go ahead and let her trim my hair. Why I do not know, probably because it came with a relaxer. It was 60 bucks for the, for the relaxer, the trim, and the deep conditioning treatment, which is fantastic. Um, she didn't do my hair as good as the, the lady that I love. The lady that I love like round brushes it, and I'm telling you, she has my hair like shiny and like bone straight. Like my, with my hair, if you don't put the correct products in it, my hair will frizz up or look kind of like poofy. And so, I, I that's why I'm very particular. But, I mean, this girl did an okay job. Um, you know, if you can see, hair looks pretty good. Shiny, healthy, you know, nothing too bad. Um, she, she trimmed it, I think. I asked her to trim, like, a quarter of an inch, but I do believe that she trimmed more than that but that's what I get for letting somebody trim my hair so there it is um ooh. put some curls in it or whatever I just I didn't want it straight this time I um I think I wore it straight for my last the last time last couple times I've been getting my relaxer up and wearing it straight but I just um I don't know but um, yeah, everything turned out well. She put some cheese silk infusion stuff on it. I came home, I bumped it, and I um, pin curled it. And um, hair's been doing pretty good lately. Um, I think I'm gonna bulk up on my protein, um, like my treatments. I think I'm gonna really um, get back into my treatments because um, I don't know. Sometimes I think that people forget that relaxed hair is relaxed hair. I know. Um, we can get away with certain, you know, certain things like, but, um, I think to really, really make sure that your hair is in the best state that it can be, I think you really need to be making sure that you're not slacking on your protein, um, you know, giving your hair a, a treatment, um, a good protein treatment to put that protein back into your hair because a relaxer is breaking the bonds in your hair and the protein is just, you know, 
leaving your hair and it's leaving it more susceptible to breakage and things like that so um, this relaxed hair game is no joke <laughs> so I've just kind of been thinking about lately I'm like okay I need to really I haven't used the Afogee two-step um, two-step is that what I mean yeah the one that you spray that stinks I haven't used one of those in a while so I was thinking about you know using one of those and just you know making sure that my hair is in tip-top condition um, I think this is probably the healthiest my hair has been throughout my hair journey probably um, you know I don't know what else can I say <laughs> Um, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, please leave me a comment below. And I'm about to go out. I'm about to go shopping. And go get me some fun stuff and go have some lunch. But um, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. And have a great day. Bye.